Okay, I'm out. I'm under a place called Renella. And what I've done is come down with a few friends. And it's a sort of spec shoot. Looking for rocky foreshores, a bit of water, something I can use a big stopper filter on. Get a bit of smoothing of the water and a bit of cragginess of the rocks. So we've just come down here on spec and it's a bit of a potluck but I'm really pleased with the location. There's a lot of stuff to do here and uh, maybe my friend who's a fine artist at university will give me a few tips on actually composition and fine art photography. But for you guys, have a look what we're doing. I promise you I'm not going in the water. I promise you I'm not going to get wet. I'm going to do nothing dangerous, just nice and easy. So let's see what we get. At the moment I'm looking at the composition here with water in the foreground, the rock which gives us closure and the rock behind which just leads us out of the picture. Should be a good composition and how I treat it will make a big difference. Um, but for you guys, welcome, all right? Okay, so what I've done, I've got the location. I'm using the Big Bembo tripod. It's about 30 years old. It's a bit cumbersome. It's a bit fiddly to set up. But you can basically put your camera at any angle and in any position. So I've set the composition. It's actually reasonably steady, so nothing's going to fall in the water, I hope. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sort out the filters. Now it's a bright sunny day and it's a sort of midday-ish time. So what we're going to do is we're going to put two stoppers, a 10 and a 6. I've got the cable release. I tell you guys about cable releases all the time. But uh, it looks good. And we can spend many, many happy hours and do our shizmo. This is our new word, awesome and chisme. So stick with it guys, and I'll show you the end result. Okay guys, what I've done, I've done all the exposure readings. I get a 250th at F16. Now I'm stacking the stoppers. I've got a 10 stop nearest to the camera, six stop on the outside. The six stop takes it down to a quarter of a second. The 10 stop, takes it down to four minutes. I'm really pleased about that. I should get a lot of smoothing at four minutes with this amount of movement. It should be really exciting. I've set my focus point. I've turned the autofocus off, because as you know, it'll try to focus on the back of the filter. I've got everything set up. I've set it to bulb. I have my app to give me the timings. And I've shot the viewfinder because as I've told you before the Nikon leaks light really badly so for four minutes in this sun I wouldn't have a usable picture so everything's set off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of exposures well the first shot looks really exciting because it's bright sunlight really hard to see on the back of the camera so I'm playing safe I'm going to give another exposure, 5 minutes 20 seconds, maybe another half a stop opened up. So we see how it goes. The guys are here, they seem to be relaxed and enjoying themselves. And uh, it's what it's all about, getting out. Getting out in, in, in nature, having a look at what you're doing, lose yourself. This is really the calm and zen style of photography. What you're doing is you're going and you're watching the water and you don't really know what you're gonna get, but you trust. You meditate, cogitate, and at the end, you get that kick. Wow, really, really exciting. There's loads of stuff to do here, loads and loads. And I'm going to be coming back a lot. If you guys are interested, you can come with me. Hey. Paradise.
Now, Rianne's going to say a piece to camera because she's an awesome model. As you see, she's quite tall. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's come to visit us in Malta. So, really cool stuff. Except she's not done a lot of modelling. She's uh, sort of stood in the street with a dress on. What's all that about? She stood on a beach with a plastic bikini on. What's all that about? So, not really too happy yet, but when we're at the end of the week, maybe, maybe we'll have something a bit exciting. What do you maybe. got? Maybe. 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 A uh, bit of a diva. Ciao, guys. Okay, guys, um, we had a good day. Blistering hot sun, so I've changed. But we were out with some friends of mine from England. There was um, a trainee photographer, my friend who is a fashion and fine art photographer, and a model, Rihanna. And we went out to do some long exposure landscapes. We took potluck. We went to a place I'd not really explored before. And they had a good day, but we spent four hours in a really, really hot sun and uh, it's hard and difficult but what I did this time is something that I tried once before because it was daylight middle of the day I put the big and little stopper on so 16 stops now my exposure went from 1 250th of a second to a little over four minutes and I felt the image was a bit dark but in the sunlight you can't always see the back of the camera so I gave another quarter of a stop to five and a half minutes. Um, fine art landscape you see behind you. And there's a couple more images that we took on the day. Everybody enjoyed it. Um, we had some fun. And I'm going to, unusually on this one, I'm going to include a picture that we took of Rihanna doing her modelling in the street. So you get a bonus guys, you get uh, all the landscapes and you get a pretty girl doing her stuff, which is uh, good stuff. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't a full on video because it was so hot, but you're going back to that location. Like all of them, there's a lot and lot of potential. Don't forget, if you like what we do, subscribe. If you wanna come and have a look and have a go yourself, www.multaphotographicholidays.com We promise you'll have fun and we'll try not to spend four hours in hot sun but uh, depends on the weather. <laughs>